right, hello my friends. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. Uh, so today we are going to continue on with our Defemmer Ember journey. Um, yesterday I did not post a video because it was Christmas and I was busy, you know, celebrating it with family. So um, I'll just show you quickly what I did. I made some tassels for the side of our journal and I used the scrap from Sarah to make a couple little charms that I attached to the end as well as some actual charms. So that's what I did for yesterday's prompt. And now we'll continue on with today's. I hope all of you had a good holiday and enjoyed yourselves. Let's see. So today is Forgotten Snacks. And I've actually, I've been looking forward to this one because I had an idea pretty much immediately uh, when I looked at the prompt list the first time. This was our scrap from yesterday. Sorry, I did pull one randomly, um, but obviously since I didn't make a, uh, what do you call it? A video, <laughs> you didn't get to see me pull it. Uh, but this scrap is from Margie. Margie does post here on YouTube, so I will make sure to leave a link to her channel below. And yeah, um, so I went by the dollar store and picked up this pack of bazooka bubble gum, which I thought we could turn into a little holder for some tags or something. And I also found this, which I thought was pretty cool. And I have a few of these. Um, these are just an older gum as well, uh, but I thought we could play with some texture with those. And then of course, if you're familiar with Bazooka, Bazooka is a chewing gum. It always comes with these little uh, cartoons, Bazooka Joe cartoons. So I figured we'd just play with all of this and uh, create a couple tags and turn this into a little kind of tech spot thing. So yeah, we'll get right to it. I'm just gonna start gluing things on and having fun with it. So the first thing I wanna do is try to bend this because I don't want that to be, we can't have it that thick in the journal. <laughs> um, I mean, we could, but the journal's already pretty thick and I don't want it to become too big to close. <laughs> How'd that do? Did I do okay with that? It's, yeah, it's good, okay. Say I could have probably could have scored it on my scoreboard and made it a little easier on myself, but I didn't think about it. So I thought we could use this picture to maybe put on the inside here just to decorate the inside. So This is a really, really nice feeling paper. Let's see. I need my glue. There's my glue. Whoops. Hey, the top came off. Crap. Um, <laughs> give me a second. I'm going to see if I can fix this. Okay. Sorry. I, I, <laughs> I found another needle to put in it. Um, I was able to get it out, so that's fine. Let's just glue this down. Okay. 
So that's fun. And we still even have a little closure for it. it I, yeah, because I didn't glue down the whole thing. So let's see if I have any cards that will fit in there. What about this? Will that fit? Yes. Is it too small? No, I think it's okay. So I'll set this off to the side for just a second. And we'll do something with these. This is going to be a little hard to stick down because it's slippery. Might have to use double-sided tape for that. I use the banana one. I love bananas, but I hate anything that's fake banana flavored. I think it's so, so gross. <laughs> My favorite flavor of everything, or I guess of everything I can think of at the moment, is usually blue raspberry. Do we want to make them tags? Just keep them as cards? Or do we want... Hmm. I think we can use the tickets like we did last time with the, the birds. Let's see if I can find my scissors and see if the scissors will cut through it. I don't know. Well, that appeared to work. Cool. I didn't quite go through all the way right there. That's okay. We can fix that. <laughs> that's fun where's my corner or not my corner rounder my hole punch puncher 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 all right i will quickly decorate the second one All right, so I do want to do a little bit of aging and stuff on these. Um, but because they are, you know, very, very plasticky, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with a few layers. Well, maybe just one layer. We'll see. A few layers of my clear gesso and uh, put that over the top because what that'll do is it'll mat out the kind of plasticky and then the stuff will actually stick to it. So I'm, <coughs> excuse me, excuse me. Um, so I'm really quickly just going to 
uh, do that. And then once that's all done, I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so I got that all covered. And now I'm going to use my uh, Black Soot Distress Ink to ink up all the edges. So we'll do that quickly. And then I want to, of course, add some splatters. Got to add splatters, but we're going to go with something a little different today. So let's get uh, let's get these edged and then we'll see what we're going to do. Okay, so you might have noticed I unglued this and I have two extra um, <laughs> tickets. It's because I got the idea when I was um, deciding what color I wanted to do everything that we can actually make two different tuck spots here. So we can use this to tuck one in like so, and then we can use this to tuck one in there. Oh, so we can have four, so we'll get even more of them. So quickly, I will glue that down. Okay, last step before we uh, put it in our book, I want to add some splatters with the juniper berry and the Yuletide mica stains. Okay, we've got everything put together. It's time to find a place to put it in our journal. <laughs> Let's see. I have, we're getting pretty full up here, but there are still some empty places. There we go, that's better. So I just want to make sure, yeah, this is the side we want to glue down. So I used my three in one for that because I want to make sure that this gets a really good hold. I'm getting <laughs> sparkles all over my hands. Uh, I will actually um, seal all of this later, but I'm not going to worry about it right now. So we have our cute little tickets here. And set them in just like that. And then this closes up. Just like that. Yay! <laughs> uh, I'm really quickly going to wash my hands. We will pull for tomorrow. Okay, so we will pull from Barbara again. Let's see. still have staining all over my fingers. <laughs> That's all right. Let's see. This one? Ooh. That's shiny. I really like the colors on that. I love the embossed. Cool. Let's put that in our spot. You know, I don't want to fold this one because it is embossed. It might rip if I fold it. So I'm, we're just going to set it there. That's fine. That'll be fine for now. So yeah, thank you guys so much for coming along with me today. I do hope you enjoyed this. I love these. I think they are too cute. And I like that I was able to find some more vintagey looking kind of things. But uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for coming along with me today. And I will see you tomorrow for the next prompt. Bye.